Okay, um, now that we're here, uh, this is after the cutscene, so now we're just gonna go ahead and sail to uh, Tower of the Gods, or inside Tower of the Gods. Uh, and before um, I enter Tower of the Gods, I like to equip the leaf and the bombs uh, right before I enter it, because uh, so I don't have to record again, or I don't have to leave. <laughs> equipped again, excuse me. Okay. Uh, there's kind of a little cool trick here. It's called um, uh, floor one skip, and a lot of like every speedrunner uses it that runs this game because it's so easy. Um, and it's it saves a lot of quite a bit of time actually than like more than you would think. So what you need to do is you need to get the statue. Uh, you can use a bomb for it too, but uh, what I like to do is I like to go completely flat against the wall, side hop up here, side walk to the right a little bit, place the statue. Uh, that's not supposed to happen. You're supposed to place the statue without it falling, but I don't know why it clips to the wall like that. It's weird. Okay, that's what's supposed to happen. So place it flat against there, and then you're going to backflip and grab the ledge by letting go of the leaf. Okay. Uh, basically for here, and you're going to want to walk against this wall, and like sidewalk backwards, and then hang off the ledge. Okay, so a lot of people will get messed up here um, by pressing to the right on the control stick, but you definitely want to press left. It's like the bomb clips. Um, press the opposite direction of where you want to go. So press. I'm going to press left now. Okay? And now I've clipped through the wall, uh, you can go ahead and climb up. So now I'm out of bounds, and I can just leap to that loading zone over there. So we're just going to jump off. Leaf pump. Leaf pump. Leaf pump. Leaf pump. Leaf pump. Okay, and then open this door. Okay, uh, these statues, they're kind of tricky to get the throw, so when you're learning, you can go ahead and just, like, place them. It doesn't require you to throw them, but uh, I kind of have, like, my own little, see, like that, it still messed up. I kind of have my own, like, little way to uh, know when to throw it, so uh, you can always just find your own, like, visual cue. Even that, I still failed. That's incredible. Um, but for when you place the third stat or the second statue, um, go ahead and like walk up to the switch, and then roll right before you reach the, uh, or right before you activate the switch, like that. And he should roll directly onto the platform. And then go ahead and climb up uh, these little like moving platforms and roll the door. Okay, then open this door, and then you have to roll like quickly here to grab the ledge on that, and then just roll off. Okay, we're gonna roll to this door, and we're gonna pick up, or yeah, we're gonna get this guy. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and just like walk over here, press the R button a couple of times, and he'll start to follow you. Okay. And then now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna wait for the statue. Okay, and then you can just go ahead, uh, there's two ways you can get across this gap. You can just jump or you can side hop over it. Uh, I would recommend just jumping though. And now we're gonna wait for this platform and kill the shoes at the same time. <laughs> uh, and then we're just gonna wait for the platform to move us over to the each edge and then just jump to the edge. And then now there's a cutscene of this just jumping, or the statue is just jumping to the place it needs to stand. Okay, 
okay? And after this, that cutscene, you're just gonna wanna roll up here. Uh, and then get up here. Uh, like, I would say you could be like right here, or like right at the bottom of this step right here. And then you're just gonna wanna, um, not do that. Uh, just like right here, I guess. And then get like anywhere near this uh, statue, and then press the Wind Waker button, which allows you to activate the cutscene. the command melody. So now you're gonna wanna hold like a slightly down right angle, or down left angle, excuse me, and so he'll just like walk around this pillar. You wanna pull your sword out um, and break this pot and get magic. So now there's two ways you can do this, well there's technically three, but um, you can come over here, not bonk on that uh, pillar right there, and then you can just uh, leap to this place over here. Okay, and we're gonna open this door, and this is the second statue, but it has one of the hardest tricks for the, the statues. A lot of people will struggle with this in the beginning. Um, there's a couple of setups that you can do for this, but uh, the easiest way to learn uh, or I, I wouldn't say the easiest way to learn, but uh, the best way to learn that is this way. It's Cosmo Hop. Um, it requires Link to put his left foot off of the edge very slightly um, and turn in, get a sharper angle, so that way he can just side hop over it and skip a command melody. So we're gonna go ahead and push Link's left foot off the edge a little bit, just that that much. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and see up, and we're gonna use the left side of the screen. Uh, and angle it, uh, excuse me, we're gonna angle it to where the bl the bottom part of this pillar right here, uh, at the bottom left, you're gonna wanna make sure that, that all of it is off the screen, except for, like, a little triangle, like that. So when you see that little triangle right there, that's when you can go ahead and press L, and then side hop left. So L, side hop left, just like that. And you should make it every time. So you can go ahead and just side hop over here, or you can just jump over here, it doesn't really matter. And go ahead and open the door. Uh, for this, you can go ahead and either throw the statue, or you can just place it, uh, but you have to be kind of close. Uh, I like to use the pillar to my left right here, when I'm walking, uh, to notify me when I can throw it. So, like, shoot. Alright. So, like, right when I get to the pillar is when you can, uh, throw the statue. I use that as a visual cue. So, uh, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, but for this, there's another fight that's coming up. So, you can go ahead and soup glitch. Um, I will, I will link a, a soup glitch tutorial, uh, in the description of this. So, um, so you don't have to be too confused on how to do it. Uh, but now, for now, it's, we're gonna do a dark nut fight. And, uh... The Dark Knight fight's pretty easy with soup because it gives you double damage, so we're gonna go ahead and fight him now. <laughs> Alright, so for the start of the fight, you want to L target, press B, and pull out your sword, and then you're gonna want to quick spin twice. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you can actually do two forward thrusts there and a quick spin, and it'll kill the dark nut. But um, what I like to do is I like to just do like three or four, just so I know I'm gonna kill him, and then quick spin. But I didn't get the quick spin off in time, uh, so it kind of messed with the uh, killing of it sooner. But uh, this right here is the hero's bow. We're gonna go ahead and get the hero's bow, and then I'm gonna get go ahead and end it here, and then start the next part. So thank you for watching.